Hello folks, for my last video you saw that I bought this William Optics Red Cat 51 and now it's time to start putting it all together. Pieces have still been arriving in the mail that I think I need, but I'm ready now. So I ordered this 14 inch Radian bar. I want everything to sit on top of this heavy duty bar and my plan is to put the telescope at the very rear of it because I want to put the power box right in front there. So if it's going to be a little back heavy, that's okay because I have some counterweights back there that I can balance that out with. And I'm going to leave this red bar on too because I want the, the telescope to be a little elevated if there's going to be a power box in front. And it looks like um, the radian bar came with some screws that I need to screw on that telescope. Okay, so the scope screwed on very easily underneath with the screws that radian included and now I'm going to fasten the the power box which has all my USB connections uh, do heater ports power outputs and I, my plan was to put it right in front but I'm I have to say I'm a little disappointed the box didn't include any brackets or mounting options to put this thing on all you get is the box and it's like well you're on your own you figure it out they could have at least included a threaded hold on the bottom so I could just put it right there. So, eh, that's surprising. But for now, maybe I'll just, uh, I got some really strong Velcro back here. Maybe I'll just use that. Okay, so I had some uh, two inch black adhesive fastener, Velcro basically. I had it sitting back there. It's the first time I used it and it looks like it does the job. It, it's pretty strong. So this, this, this power box ain't going anywhere. And so far, that's what I've got. Okay, so next I'm going to attach my electronic focuser. I have the ZWO EAF and I have uh, um, an electronic focuser mount that I bought from Nick Ivanoff. I already know uh, this kind of setup works. I've already been using it with my solar setup, so um, I have no problem buying this same kind of setup again for this setup. Okay, that was super easy to set up. I didn't even read the instructions on how to install it. Okay, next is I have this 120 ASI, ZWO ASI 120mm camera, mono camera that I'm going to use as a guide scope. And I bought this ZWO mini guide scope. It looks like I can just mount this sucker right there. Perfect. Right on top of the focuser mount. I have an extension if I don't have enough back focus. Okay, next is I have, I think this is an eight position filter wheel. I had it on the, the shelf behind me again. And I have uh, an ASI 1600 mm camera, but I have um, an ASI 2600 mono camera on the way. And so this is only gonna be a temporary solution. And I think I'm also going to need uh, two inch filters with that camera. I've been warned by Joe's Astrophoto, Astrobloke, even ZWO told me I would probably have bad vignetting if I try to use my smaller filters. So uh, I'm going to have to order two inch filters with that camera. And it's going to screw right onto the front here. And I'm probably going to need at least an inch worth of spacers to find the right focus. And I'd be surprised if I don't already have what I need. Okay, here's a close-up of what it all looks like and it it came together more neatly than I even imagined. Now, uh, since I already assumed this setup was going to be definitely back heavy, um, here is a counterweight and I have different weights back there if I need them. Um, this counterweight can go right underneath the radian bar with my uh, with my clamp here so um, once I figure out what kind of mount I want to buy um, and, I, and I hook it all up that's when I'll see how much counterweight I actually need I'm still undecided now on the mount I'm leaning towards an HEQ5 I think it's made by Skywatcher but if anyone else has a suggestion I'm all ears it's sold out anyway so it's not as if I can order it right now and um, I have my dew heater strips still coming and I didn't do the cable management yet. 
I'm tired. I don't want to deal with that. So I'll run the cables another day. Um, let me know what you think of this setup. That's all I got, folks. See you later. I need here already, thanks to Radiant for including this. Fucking mother.